This video will talk about holes and oblique asymptotes in rational functions. So a hole occurs when you have a common factor between your numerator and your denominator. Uh, the zeros of the denominator are usually asymptotes and you can't have a zero there because it can't reach that value so we have a problem and it is actually a hole there. So if we want to find the common zero and evaluate it we would have f of x is going to be equal to if I factor this it'll be x minus 5 and x plus 2 and on the bottom we have x minus 5 and you can see that there's our common factor and that would be the zero the common zero would be x minus 5 equals 0 or x equal 5. Well if we evaluate it when we put the 5 down here at the bottom we're going to end up with 0 in the denominator which is undefined. So we end up with f of x equaling x plus 2, but then we have to say, well, x can't be 5. And so let's see what that looks like in a graph. Here's our x plus 2. That rational function became a line when we simplified it, but you really can't see the hole here. So it says, let's look at it again, but let's let our window uh, start at 4 and then go to 6. So we want to see what happens between 4 and 6, which is 5. And let's look at point zero 0,1. And this might be a little hard to see, but we can look at it and see what happens. You may not be able to see, but right here, and we'll highlight that, right there, there's a gap in that graph. So that's where the hole is. It literally makes a hole. All right, so oblique asymptotes. We have these rational functions, and we talked about finding horizontal asymptotes if the numerator was less than the denominator degree or equal. But when we have a greater, that's when we're going to have an oblique asymptote. And we find that by finding the quotient when we divide. So when the degree is greater, this makes a fraction of an improper fraction like 3 over 2. If we were to put it in proper form we would use long division and I've worked this particular problem out for you to show you what we get. 2x minus and then the, the result when we subtracted these two it gave us negative 2x as a remainder and we put that over our divisor. So the remainder that negative 2x gets close to 0 for very large x values. So f of x equal 2x for large values. That's what it will be. This part right here becomes our oblique asymptote. And it says note that graph can cross the oblique at the zeros of the remainder. So here, if it's going to cross, it's going to cross at 0. Because this and the numerator would be at 0. All right, so now they're going to ask us to graph. And we know all kinds of things now x-intercepts, remember those are the zeros of the numerator, so we're going to have to factor this thing. And if we take two terms and two terms, we would have x squared, x minus 2, and then minus 9, and x minus 2 to get the plus 18. And then that's going to give us x squared minus 9 times x minus 2. And one more says that that's going to be x minus 3, x plus 3 for the first factor to completely factor it, and x minus 2. So right now we know that our x-intercepts are at 3, negative 3, and 2. So now we want to look at the y-intercept. And remember, the y-intercept is just let x equal 0. So if this is 0, and this is 0, anything times 0 is 0, and anything times 0 is 0, and we have 18. And if we have 18 and this be 0, then we don't have one. In our case, it does not exist. That must be part of our asymptote of some sort for us or something, because we can't divide up 18 by 0. So the vertical asymptote, remember the vertical asymptote is going to be the zeros of the denominator and the zeros of the denominator it's just going to be x equals 0. And it's vertical, so it's x equal. So that means that we have here the y-axis as our vertical asymptote. And then horizontal or oblique. It's going to be one or the other. And so we are going to look at our degrees. And our degree is 3 and degree is 2. So here we have that it's n is greater than n, so it's an oblique. So we have to do long division to be able to find out what that is. So x squared on the outside, x cubed minus 2x squared, that's a cube, minus 9x plus 18. And if you want to pause right now, you could do that division. I will give you the final answer in just a moment. We end up with x minus 2 plus that negative 9x plus 18. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be at x minus 2 is what y is equal to. And when we talk about does it cross, what we're really going to do is say negative 9x plus 18. I want to find the 0. Remember we use just the quotient to factor out a negative 9 and you've got x minus 2 equals 0. So x is going to be equal to 
2. So it will cross at x equal 2. So it's going to cross right here. So let's draw what we know. We have the line x minus 2, and it's right here. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and I get this oblique asymptote. And you can see that it crossed at that x-intercept to graph. We won't physically graph. We're just going to look at our calculator to verify everything that we just found. And remember, it won't show the oblique asymptote. But if we want to come in here and see if it kind of looks like ours, we could come back in and say that this y2 is our x minus 2. Remember, this isn't really part of our graph. We think of it as a dotted line. But that looks very much like the graph that we had. You can see the x-intercepts of 2, 3, and negative 3, and the vertical asymptote of the y-axis. X-intercepts. Let's do those in purple. X minus 3, X plus 2. So the zeros are at positive 3 and negative 2. And they're both going to go through. They're both going to change signs. The Y-intercept. Again, we're going to have this 0 down here that we're dividing by because we have to let X equal 0. So this does not exist. I'm not going to have anything red on my graph. Vertical asymptote. Remember, that's the zeros of my denominator. So these are going to be x equal 0. Again, that came from the 0 of the denominator. And then horizontal asymptote or, or oblique asymptote, we've got a degree 2 and a degree 1. So 2 is bigger than 1, so it's oblique. So again, we have to divide x goes into x squared minus x minus 6. This will be x. Bring down the negative x. That will be minus 1. Bring down the negative 6. And that's our remainder plus a negative 6 over x. So our oblique asymptote is y equal x minus 1. And there is no 0 up here. It's just a negative 6. So it's not going to cross. So we have our x minus 1. It looks something like this is my oblique. Again, we won't physically graph. We're just going to look at our calculator to verify everything that we just found. We have our function in here. And I have this asymptote, but we're not going to look at it at first. We'll come back and look at it. So standard window again. And here's our graph. Looks a lot like what we thought we were going to have. You can see that it's definitely tending toward this y-axis. And the x-intercepts at 3 and negative 2. And if we come in here and go back to this, then you can see that there's our asymptote. And now our graph looks like ours if you think of this line as being dotted. <laughs>